Hi everybody, it's Diane at Tattered Edges Design. Today I'm making some more journal ephemera. And with the last journal I made, it kind of dawned on me. I don't have a lot of tall stuff. So I was going to make kind of bookmarky style journaling cards. Uh, and then for whatever reason I just thought of, well, why don't I made it more, you know, like a fold over thing or something like that. That would be cool. Okay, let's do that. So just, you know, one thought led to another. And so here we are. I've got coffee dyed paper that um, it's six inches across and then five and a quarter up and down just so I could cut it in half. And I've just got two sheets and I think what I'm going to do is just sew, as in sewing machine, down the center to keep them together. And just for the record, one of these is six inches up and down, yeah. Just because I happen to have a paper that was six inches, so I do have one that's six. But anyway, so that's the big plan. And then I am going to collage or something on the front. That's mainly what this video is about. But that's the idea. Just a little, I don't know what you call it. Sewn together pages in a journal. Something like that. Okay, I'm going to go sew and I will be back. Okay, they're all assembled. That went very well. I kind of thought a brown... Uh, you know, spread would be cute because it would stand out. And you know, this looks very vintage because of the coffee dyeing. But I thought, well, what if I don't sew it exactly straight? And you'll be able to see that. Although they turned out pretty well. And the best reason for this decision was there was white in my machine. Okay. Um, there are a couple, well, <laughs> there's four, 60% of them are not totally, totally even on the edges, which, you know, for something like this, really doesn't matter. It, some people might even like that. You could actually make them, you know, intentionally real staggered. But since, you know, these are okay, I think they look better. So I'm gonna trim the edges with an X-Acto and um, my metal ruler. So you don't have to watch that. All right. So I'll be back after that. Okay, we're all trimmed nice and even. That went well. And uh, my next thought was to maybe stamp like notes or write or something on the fronts. Um, but I didn't want to stamp it right on it because one, I'm not 100% sure you won't be able to see it on the other side, which I don't think you will since this is dyed, but I'm not sure. <laughs> And two, the stamps I was planning on using this set, um, occasionally, well, more than occasionally, often you get, um, or I get, part of the, you know, the edge. So I don't want to mess it up on the little books because, you know, two pieces of paper is a big deal and I don't want to throw it out. Um, so what I think I would do is just sort of try it on um, a scrap and it just so happened <laughs> these are scraps I actually cut off of from making those so see there's like a little you know and yeah I see and you can kind of see through it I don't can you tell yeah okay so what I'm going to do then is write or stamp I mean the words on scrap and then cut them out and no, I'm not going to, you know, line them up and all that. I, I don't do that. <laughs> what can I say? I just, I, I don't want to measure stuff out. And, you know, if it looks a little askew, that's all the better for this kind of stuff, I think. So that's what we're doing. I'm doing. Where's the S? Let's see, does this have a... Yeah, this does have an up and a down. I gotta see. <laughs> Which is it? I think it's the other way. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna stamp little cutesy things for all of them. I don't think you wanna see how much we go eh, 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 and spell words. So I'll do that and then come back again. I'm back. So I made little, you know, word things. And I did not glue them on because I'm not sure, I mean, you know, normally you'd put them sort of like that, but I'm not sure what I'm doing, so I didn't glue them on yet. And 
my thoughts were naturally kind of collage stuff. That's normally what you know, we do around here. But I don't think I want to go scrapbook paper because of the thickness. Because, you know, this is just notebook paper. And the idea is to write on it. So I don't want a bunch of little ridges, you know, that someone's going to be catching. Um, I could use thinner scrapbook paper, but then that's a lot of sifting. And I don't want to sift right now. So magazine paper is the next best thing, although it's glossy. I didn't really want that either. <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, honestly, I thought it would be cool would be to do a bunch of stamping. You know, like backwards, background stamps, you know, and images and that. But we're right back to, you can see through it, which is why I did these separately. So, you know, nuts to that. So I pulled some magazines and, can't, well... <laughs> Two magazines and two catalogs. Oh, I'm sorry, three. Three magazines and two catalogs that are a little more of a vintage, it's glaring, once again, sorry, a vintage style. So, I'm kind of going with that because of the coffee dyeness. This one, 1941, I think that was before World War II even. Um, and yeah, why I'm why, you know, why are you ruining this? Because I bought a few of these at a, it was a garage sale years ago um that the person holding it did estate sales and this is like stuff that never sold and it was really junky and really dirty and really kind of but she had a few of these magazines so i bought and i tried to resell them at a very reasonable price on ebay and they just sat and sat and sat and no one ever bought them so i'm cutting them off and uh, actually, there isn't a whole lot of excitingness in these, usually. And I've had them for quite a while, as I mentioned. So the excited, you know, ness maybe have already be, been cut out. But here's a border. It's kind of interesting. And I don't know either how much I want to put on these. I mean, you know, I could be done with this, right? I... <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't really know where I want to go with this. Yeah, my first thought was, you know, just collage it like I normally do with a focal image and background stuff. And But I don't know. I thought because of the vintage look, maybe I didn't want a bunch of stuff on it. I, I, I don't know. And since I'm just making these uh, ahead of time, you know, to have on hand type ephemera. Um, you know, it's part of a band there, orchestra, sorry. Um, I don't want to especially do any kind of real theme. Although, depending on what I get, it may look like a theme. I, I don't know. So, yeah, we're back to... Let's watch Diane hunt around in magazines and stuff. Is it okay? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We're all glary, I suppose. Well, I don't think I really want vegetables on there. Because <laughs> I get, yeah, well, you know, who am I to judge? You want vegetables on your. And yeah, and on your what? I don't know what to, I still don't know what I'm calling these. It's a little... It's not a notebook. It's not a book book. It's just stitched together papers. On your stitched together papers. I don't know about this one. P. I don't, I don't know. This is a, you know, new magazine, but they use old images in it. Images in it. Oh, what about? Yeah. I think these magazine and color people need to only make single-sided pages. Are you with me on that? You have to decide which is, the, you know. What can we give? Well, okay. How about trumpet vine? Although... Trumpet Vine and I really do not get along. 
I, I didn't know. Well, I. Yeah. You you can't get like a poison ivy kind of reaction to it. And yes, I get that. <laughs> lucky, lucky. It, it doesn't bother everybody, but it does me. It's real exciting. It yeah, actually is pretty nasty. The flowers are pretty, but Diane can't go buy it. And yes, we found that out the hard way. Oh, now we get to watch her fussy cut, huh? Well. Yeah, I don't know. I was just going to say, should I give the weather report? I don't know if there's much point in that because um, my videos always take, you know, a week or more to get up. So by the time I'm saying it's sunny and 70, it's going to be really 35 degrees or something. But today it was actually sunny and 70, which is kind of off season. It's it's not unheard of. You know, kind of have a last little blast of summer there, but it's getting kind of late for that. <laughs> so a little weird. Although I'm glad because I'm able to clean up my yard more and stuff. Oh, well, that's like a border thing. Oh, that's okay. It's a little box thing there. It's a background color. I'll cut it out that way first since it is easier and then we'll see if I want it. But yes, so I finally, because I know you've all been wondering about it, transplanted some phlox today. I've been, I mentioned that, you know, like 20 videos ago or something. Finally did it. I did have help. Thankfully, so it was not real easy. All right, well, they got the flax update. And then there's just kids playing outside, and my dog's barking because there's kids playing outside. Well, that's kind of fun. So just, you know, maybe just like that. And, th and they don't all have to look alike or anything either. All right, I guess I'll do the I'll glue off camera business. So this is one. And we'll set it aside. And hopefully all the little components won't, you know, blow away and fly off. And I didn't trim this all that well. Oh, well, it's okay, I guess. Well, yeah, I... I'm gonna make sure if there's a, you know, like the wider margin on a notebook paper. If it has one of those, I want to make that on top so it doesn't look like it's upside down. So that was the reason I was doing that. <laughs> and yeah, just for the record, because now you're all gonna rush off and make these. I did um, choose a plainer paper for the cover, just for one reason in case i covered a lot of it up why cover up interesting coffee dyeing if you don't have to and then two just it would be a little plainer you know to work on maybe you don't want a big dark streak or something so there should save this for cooking journals huh? yeah th this one <laughs> There is not a whole lot left of this, and I keep thinking, oh, Diane, just throw it out. Throw it out. Just get rid of it. But it's like, no, oh, but it's got cool stuff on the back. And like, you know, this food. It's, I should, what I should probably do is cut it apart, right? Because there's really nothing here. All right. Be useless. Thank you. And this one I just had out for... Oh, I don't know, some video. I don't really remember which one it was. You tell me. And it's the same thing. I, I bought this very beat up, so that's why it's getting cut up. Well, I could pause and look for focal images, couldn't I? 
I could do a lot of things, right? You <laughs> see a typer written list of the stuff I could do. The baby. I don't know if we want that. I want to, oh, I could do something with this. It's so uh, a library, I guess I would say, with the bookcases. It looks like you know a globe and. Yeah, what kind of clued me in to do this is every time I because I don't always make biggish journals. I personally I like to make littler ones. I think they're cute. But to be honest, when I write in one and have one myself, I do like it bigger. <laughs> so I do make big ones too. And um the last couple that I made, I always was sort of scrambling around for a tall like if I had a side tuck, I didn't I didn't have anything really tall. So I'd either have to, you know, make something, heaven forbid, instead of having it, you know, on hand, which we like better. Well, uh, I was going to pull these nasturtiums, but I think that maroon color is too bold. You want something more... Subtle, pastel-y. What about this one again? It's got a lot of black and white stuff in it. But yeah, it would look yucky on that. Okay, forget that. What about these roses? Well, it's got good stuff on the bag. Um, oh, it's a corner thing. I wonder what that would do. It's Think about that. Oh, that would be interesting. They're supposed to be gladiolas. I have never tried to grow those. Really, Diane? No, I haven't. There is. I don't know if you can see it. There's a there's a hand down here actually holding these. Can you see? I didn't notice that at first. This looks sort of with that hand there. It looks like a Victorian calling card kind of thing. Maybe I should pull some images off camera. I don't know. I'm still at a loss. I don't know what what's better to do. Let people see the process or the stuff off. Well. I don't know. It's I think I like it, but not with this picture. <laughs> It, it well yeah it's too well is that better I would say because you can't turn it or anything because of the hand in my opinion so if I hit keep it there it's cutting off an awful lot of the bookcase and if I move it over then it, I would have to cut off an awful lot of that bookcase maybe we should find a different image to go with it all right, we'll see if we can find that. And then maybe I'll pause and look for other images. So you don't have to listen to lame weather reports and stuff like that. I'll just blow these all across the counter. Now that's appetizing. <laughs> 
I don't like peas anyway. I, I mentioned once I'm a picky eater, and I am, and I've never liked peas. I will never like peas at my age. I don't eat peas. And no offense to anybody that likes them. I, I live with people that eat them. What about a um, different? Well, so the colors don't go too well though. What about a floor plan? How weird would that be? took uh, a design class in high school many years ago. We had to do a floor plan of our bedroom. It's actually kind of fun. I mean, you really have to measure it right and everything. It's kind of fun, I thought. All right, well, that's, that's coming along. Something there on the bottom now. Could always do a, you know, a washi tape or a ribbon or something, I suppose. About this music one, it has, seems they have a lot of borders in it. Of course, nothing that I you know want right now. Right? Well, that's not bad, but it's a little boring. I didn't want a boring border. I don't know where my other ones are. I've got. What about the back? I've got, like I said, if, I don't know, three of these? I, I guess they're in the stack somewhere. I didn't see them. And I hope my hair wasn't in the picture. I just felt it brush on the camera thing. That's okay. I don't know if I love it, but it's okay. All right. Okay, we're making the executive decision. I'll pause and pull some more images so I'm not, you know, searching and going, no, that doesn't work, no, that doesn't work. Okay, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, we found focal images. It wasn't too hard. I pulled out a couple um, work basket magazines. They're, most of their pages are the cheaper matte pulp type. So, so there's your, you know, get your accordion by mail which I know is kind of ridiculous, but I don't know. Kind of. I thought it was interesting. And I do have washi tape, and I kept the um, floral catalogs here. Or, what do you, what do you, oh, golly, seed catalogs. Um, so maybe we could accessorize with a little of that, or I got washi tape. I'm not going to go the ribbon trim route for the same reason I mentioned before that you know you should be able to write on the facing page and it's just paper so I don't want it too bulky um, <laughs> and it is evening are we getting the harsh shadow yeah we're getting the harsh shadows I guess I gotta look up what to do about that Kind of pretty, although I don't know that it goes with this, but I'm gonna grab it while I see it. Gooseberries. I can safely say I've never eaten a gooseberry. I don't think I've ever seen one. Have you? Now you have. It's gooseberries. A delicacy often overlooked by American gardeners. We'll stop overlooking it. Hmm. Huh. Didn't know that. What do you do with them? <laughs> okay. And Diane, can I guess that you can use them for jelly preserves or a fresh fruit dessert. Firm, tasty fruit. Okay. Well, I think tasty is a matter of opinion. And for people that don't like peas, they might <laughs> they might not like gooseberries. Well, 
Now this one, I don't know if I want something under it or over it or both. I mean, in a way I hate to cover it up because it's such a neat old ad, but do you really need all the details of send it to Chicago and stuff that, you know, I'm sure they're not there anymore. I guess I don't know that. If you want to write to the Accordion Corporation of America, go ahead. Oh, can you go wrong with nasturtiums? Actually, gardening-wise, I've always had good luck with nasturtiums. If you've never grown nasturtiums, they get really cool leaves. They're um, here's here. It's a good example here. Like you see there or here, they're very circular. And when it rains, they hold drops, and you can take a leaf and spin it around. <laughs> and go like this, and the rain drop will go like, you know, it's really, it's so entertaining for some of us, apparently. Well, it's kind of pretty. Okay, maybe a border washi tape thing down there. Well, I was going to say, you know, neutral, but I think that's going to blend in too much. I think we almost need something in this neighborhood. I don't know. If we go the floor, no, we don't want to go the floral route. That's going to be too... You know, there's a, a decorating rule that... I don't know if I can explain this without showing it. Um, if you have, just say, a floral, floral drapes, you can't have a floral couch. It's not... It's if it's exactly the same fabric, you can you can you know re win the repetitive award. But um, you can use the same colors in the floral drapes, but then make the couch be like a geometric. That's that's the trick. You know you can't have stripes and stripes. You can have stripes and flowers. And, am I making sense? And we're not talking about decorating anyway. But why I brought it up? Um, it's it's kind of true, I think, in um, collage, and that's just totally me. I, you know, collage is very well art in general. It's just very open. Oh, mosquito flying by in November. Hmm. 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 That's what happens when you get nice weather in November, right? There's another one of those border things we took for the, I don't know, other one. I forget which one it was now. Is that, I think that was the floor plan. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. I think that's good enough for now. <clears throat> Excuse me. I may add a flower or something, but I think for now that's good. And we'll move on. Okay, next. We have a very stylish pantsuit with a dress that um, was a pattern you could send for in the um, work basket. Hmm, where do we want this? And what are we going to put here? Gooseberries? You know, actually, that's not stupid. I kind of like that. Do we need something else, though? I mean, that's kind of plain. Maybe some text business. Let's see. What, what do we want, though? Well, this is good. a list of advertisers in that um, musical magazine. I kind of like the spacing there. I'm 
Okay, we don't need the number, but I'll save it for my little number file. Yeah, numbers would be good on some of these too, maybe. Yeah, actually, I kind of like that, but it's making everything drop. Well, I'm going to raise it up. I could use um, a color behind it. Let me get my crunchy my crunchy mulberry bag that I'll try not to crunch too much. Um, yeah, those gooseberries are kind of an odd color. That's okay. Sometimes, depending on the fiberness, mulberry paper can be hard to tear. Okay, I like that. Okay, you go aside. Okay, next. Yeah, this is a wee bit odd, but, you know, why not? Wow, which way does this go? Yes, that way. No, I think I like, is this one I almost think I want it to, I want it, I would like to keep it kind of plain. And I pulled this out of a work basket, it was a tatting edge. I never did anything with tatting, does anybody out there know how to do that? I know it's sort of a older craft. Well, as much as I'm not a fan, generally, of lining stuff up, I kind of like that. And I think with inking in that, that may be fine. Okay. Put you aside, too. All right, here's another work basket girl. So she's got something on her mind. Can you see that? Well, let's see what we got for her. I don't know. What would you do with her? Because, I mean, it's kind of cool. I mean, you know, you can almost just leave it like that, really. I always say that, don't I? I just leave it alone. <laughs> but then I don't. All right, that's another question for you crafter, collage journal people. Do you like to leave things simple like that on occasion or no it's got to have lots of stuff what are your feelings on that it's kind of pretty here in poppies i have poppies and they're getting crowded out by aforementioned flocks. That was one reason I'm moving them. Oh, actually, that's pretty. I don't know if we like it with her. It's, it's, um, I think it's dark. It, uh, she kind of gets lost. We should just get rid of her. <laughs> well, what if we do something like this and make it up? Does that do anything? Yeah, it makes her look like she's wearing a weird hat. Okay, what if we went, go totally the other way? That's not the best composition I've ever seen in my life. It kind of looks like two different things thrown together there. This will probably be the same thing because it's not, they're not touching. Well, I don't think that's going to work with her. I like that, though. I'll just save that for something else. All right, what else can you offer me that's not so dark? <laughs> How about that? <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm, the odd color for flowers. I think. All right, what about this? And some more nasturtiums. And actually, me saying I have good luck with nasturtiums, I've only ever got the traditional type, like um, the jewel or what's the other one? Whirly gig? Whirly something. Um, I They came out with a new one a couple years ago. It was Phoenix, I think. That did not do very well. So there's your nasturtium update. She's wearing a hat again. But it's lighter, is that okay? Well, I think it's okay. What do, you, what do you guys think? That's a little better. All right, I think that's doable. Okay, you come over here too. And lastly, this one I did uh, pull part of that border from the other one. Hmm maybe text behind that because of the book looking stuff. Oh, here's another number. I'll save that. Um, let's see. Oh, I said text. Is that too narrow? Yeah. Yes, it is. Not well, I could piece it together. This is kind of interesting. I imagine that is some sort of, yeah, it is music. New four beat note. I can't read music. I, <laughs> I took some piano lessons and I took some violin lessons and my problem was I memorized the music before I learned the notes. <laughs> So, I never learned to read music. Well, it's kind of interesting. Thought-provoking there. Okay, I think that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna probably actually call it a day. It's getting late. But I will glue this stuff off camera and then come back for wrap up or maybe if I want additions we'll hunt around I don't know but so there okay have a good night everybody I will be back tomorrow okay this is like 10 seconds later I go to kind of wrap up a little bit here I'm mainly gonna leave stuff I go to wrap up oh wait my glue was knocked over and it left this big blob <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna glue so so much for going to bed all right, I'm going to glue now, and then I'll see you tomorrow. Well, it's a new day with a new idea. So they're all glued, like I did last night, even though I wasn't planning on it. I did add just a little music snippet to this one, and this one. Otherwise, I think they're all as you saw them last. So, I was kind of thinking, well, like this one actually... I, come, I think I'm going to consider done. I mean, it's full, if nothing else. I mean, it's it's done. Um, but some of them, this one, these, you know, they're kind of plain, which really is fine for what they are. I, I could, you know, I could leave them alone. I should leave them alone. And yeah, we have, angle of the sun has changed. So if, in the morning now, I'm getting sun here. Anyway, um... But I don't really want to add more stuff because I, I had kind of thought like, well, what about washi tape? So I've got, well, I've got all washi. But, you know, no, that's too much. So my choices were kind of leave them alone or I thought, well, what about a little paint? I, I don't know. Is that going to look okay on the watercolor? Or, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I just woke up. Forgive me. On um, the coffee dyed. But you know what? Let's try it. So I just have watercolor paints here and water and a brush. And I don't know what a color for this one. Just something kind of subtle. I don't want... And no, you know, notebook paper is not designed to take watercolor paint. I'm fully aware of that. 
and it uh, could, even if I didn't go over this, it could run and seep into an image. So just, you know, if you think, oh, I'm going to try that, that could happen. Well, it's a little interesting. It adds. What about a little blue? And I know normally you don't add, you know, brown and blue together, but, or mix. No, I kind of like it. Went a little bit elsewhere. And yeah, I mean, it is sort of taking away from the coffee diedness. If that's a word I could use. But I just thought it kind of needed something. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, what about this one? Now yellow... I'll go ahead and do it, but I don't think yellow is going to look so hot because of the coffee dye, but we'll try it. Um, it's okay. It's a tad, it's a tad to me because of the vintage-ness, but it's okay. I, it's okay. Maybe just a touch of green because all the green leaves. Yeah, I couldn't believe that glue last night. It was like, <laughs> you think you, I mean, it was not that far away from me. You think I might notice it, you know, blobbing all over the place, but I didn't. All right, I think I like that a little better than just the yellow. There's that. Could spatter a little bit on there. Let's try that. Cover her. Yeah, that kind of adds. Okay, let's get rid of the green spatters while they're wet. Alright, this one. Well, this could go any direction with these colors, but I don't know. It could be boring. It's a little wet. <laughs> boring. Uh, boring brown. And you know, if you wanted to get really super involved, you could hit all the pages with a little watercolor paint. Be kind of could be fun. And what about just something like that? Like it looks like it got kind of stained. I like that. Okay, that one. I don't know. I've got. Kind of red, yeah, it's red, and those are a little more of a uh, yeah, what I mean, this is red, but that's sort of a pale, a pale, rusty red. Is that <laughs> I don't know, it's not red, red at any rate. Should I just leave that alone or put a little on the side? This is more orange. Well, it is orange. <laughs> Not only is it more orange, it actually is. Okay, I kind of like that effect. Okay. Now this one could go any direction. We could stay very vintagey brown, or we could add color to brighten it up. What about this? Is like a goldy yellow. That's mm, okay. It's not too exciting. Well, here's that brown. And the you know this was just embellishment. It doesn't matter if you can't read that. At least in my opinion, it doesn't matter. Maybe we could splatter, spatter on that one. A little blue. No, 
Oh, it's kind of fun. And I think I'm just going to leave that alone. Okay, the tall one here. Well, that could get brightened up with some yellows there, or golds, or... So yeah, what's your opinion? Is this cool? I mean, I, to me it definitely adds. I think I like it better. But you are taking a, a little away, I think, from the coffee dyed. So, you know, would you do this? Lastly, with this one, like I said, that one, I think I'm just going to leave that one alone. I, li I like it. Yeah, I'm thinking. She's thinking. Well, okay. you know, this is nice because it's whiter. It kind of brightens it up, but I suppose it does sort of stick out in a way. I don't know. A gooseberry color. They're kind of pink, pinky, pinky, purpley, ready. Just a little like that, or we need it darkened up because of this stuff. I think we need it darkened up. Grabbing like a oh, kind of an off red and a purple. Yeah, I think that's better. All right, I think that's good. Um, I will let these dry and come back because oft times it'll uh, lighten up. So we'll take it from there. You can see what they they really look like. Oh, look at the sun. Sorry, but anyway. Um, and see if we want to add more because they lighten. Okay, I'll be back when they're dry. Alright, that didn't take too long. Um, I think they can use a little darkening here and there. And in case you're curious, I was I did check to see if they went through um a little bit, like you can see there. But I think that's okay. And yeah, you can occasionally barely see like the text that was on the back of that through but it's very very subtle so I'm not worried about that I think this is too too even it needs something more down here okay I think that's okay that's okay and it's still a little wet I think this could use some darkening. All right, I'm taking that green, you can't see, and just going to add a touch of red to it. That green is, I don't know what's with that green. It, <laughs> it looks really dark and like a good green. And then when you paint it, it's kind of pale and it always fades out. I don't know what's with that color or pigment or brand or I don't know and don't ask me what are those what's the br it's very old I mean really old um, you know two watercolors that are all squished out they were a good brand at the time when I bought them but that was a long long time ago Okay, I think this one needs a little more something up on top. It's just that brown again. Yeah, that's better. Oh, I did ink all the edges, by the way. Um, just front and back. I didn't do interior pages. And I didn't do the spine because the stitching is there. And yes, I know, you can go over it. 
I think I'm gonna leave this one. Um, but I didn't want to darken up the stitching. Maybe you would. I mean, maybe you think that would be better, but I just didn't want to. And just for the record, in a not too long ago video, I pointed out my dauber was really worn. I mean, really bad. <laughs> so I said, I wonder if you could put batting over it. Yeah, you can. It, um, it's a lot better than a chewed up dauber, but it seems like it, it, it um, It's a little less control than I'm used to. It, it's it, it's going in more, so I just have to kind of get used to that. But actually, it works pretty well, and I had the batting, so that's why I did that instead of buying a new one. So well, I'll try it first. So that's that story. All right. Well, I think in lieu of signing off again and pausing, I'm just going to call this done. We'll take a quick look at these. And I think this little project was a success. I would make them again for journals. And here's these two. I think they're kind of fun. And I like the fact that they're not bulky, yet they serve a pretty good purpose. They're interesting, I think. And last two here. All right, guys, so here it is on my kind of crowded, messy counter here. Little page booklets? I don't know. what I still don't know what to call them. Page booklets? If you come up with a great title, let me know. All right, well, thanks for hanging in there, and have a wonderful day out there.